top five for the week. Top five WWE, well, just any wrestler of all time. Hmm. Gilmore, we'll let you, or Wentworth. Did you go first? Yeah. Wow. Jason, you want one, first? One. No, I want to go first. He, he, he can go. He can go. Mm-hmm. I'm going to take the Texas Rattlesnake as my favorite wrestler. He's the best. Stone Cold Steve Austin. What? You know what I said. 316. If you grew up in our age in the 90s and you didn't like Stone Cold, then something's wrong with you. He yeah, was the coolest. I mean, he was more popular than a lot of sports people when we were growing up. He the epitome of cool. Driving Zambonis. No beer all trucks. The, yeah, beer Monster chugs, trucks. all the stone cold stunners. Beer trucks. How many times did you just stone cold stun your friends in eighth grade when you walked into middle school? Like, oh, I was still doing that in college. <laughs> I mean, still do it today. I don't <laughs> think for our age, and I get there's some older guys that are probably cooler, more famous, but for our age group, I don't think there's any other guy than Stone Cold. Okay. Well, the Attitude Era is Murphy. I better go older then. Better go older then. And uh, you can go ahead and give me uh, two claps and a Ric Flair, would you? Mm. I don't want to scream, wake the kid up, but... Well, I think if we're going all-time and Hall of Famer, you get Ric Flair, but... Yeah. Just like, you gotta go Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan, yeah. running wild, yeah. red and yellow. Give me well, he Hogan. has to be a top five. Well, yeah. No, I think Hulk Hogan and Ric Flair above Stone Cold. Just in the oh yeah, but I was going to take Stone Cold if he was there. Like just for our yeah, for our time period. Yes, for sure. Wasn't anyone was that influenced Hogan was anymore. that same period too? But it just like I don't yeah, remember Hogan. Like I watched it growing up. We went to WrestleManias and we watched, but I don't remember Flair. I don't remember Hogan. No. I don't remember NWO. I'm, I remember it, but I don't like, like my. You know, All right. Twelve yeah. years old to eighteen years old, it was okay. still right. and cold, stomping mud holes. All right, I got to get up in five hours. Let's go. Second pick, uh, give me, uh, yeah, give me the Rock. You know, he's, he's got to be number two for right. me. I didn't want to take him. I put him way down on my list. That's fine. I'll take him for you. Did you like him though? I mean, I yeah, you know, like. Nick and Mike skills were great. In the ring skills, he was all time. He was all time great. I just yeah. hated him because he was always stone cold. Yeah, well, he always played the heel so well. Like he always yeah. played the heel so well. I just hated him, but he was good. So good. All right, Murph, you got two. I did Hulk Hogan and The Rock. Oh, okay. Um, give me the Undertaker. Me God the Undertaker. damn it! That was my next one. Give me the Undertaker. So the Undertaker is actually my favorite wrestler of all time. We were there when he the streak no. was beat. People were crying. <laughs> we had boots on the ground. Like it was. We, like were, in, we were in New Orleans. The there craziest. Was Forty year old man. Forty year old men crying and leaving. Never. After they paid three hundred dollars to come in to watch, and they just walked out because he lost. Well, he's my favorite him. wrestler of all time. I just remember he's a fanatic. I remember being right. 10 years old and being like, I like, I love that guy. He was my favorite. All right. Um, hmm. You got two of them. I get two? Yep. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, one for sure is going to be Mankind. Mick Foley. Uh, Dude, Dude Love. love. Okay. Um, J- Cactus Jack. How I mean, how could you not like him? He was Don't the biggest me. nut job of all time. The and the best match of all time has to be Mankind versus Undertaker in the Hell in the Cell when he the got crazy, thrown. For sure, love Mankind. Yeah, uh, anytime he came in the ring, it was always a laugh. And then we may have I'm turned gonna, this into a top three, so it fits in the timetable. We're good. We we'll get there. Get this up. <laughs> 
I just have so many I want to do. Um, yeah, uh, I'll take. <laughs> I'll do it. Just uh, give me gold dust, dusty roads. Um, I just feel like if I was a wrestler, I'd have been gold dust. If Murph knows what I mean. Don't. Hmm. I think you do. Um, I guess I'm going to have to go with, give me, it's one of them, mm, Triple H. Ooh, good one. Give me Triple H. Like it, like the hair, stud. The game? Mm. He's the game. Oh, I know what I want to do. All right. Uh, for my two, I'm going to go with the excellence of execution. <laughs> Bret Hart. Absolutely. That's a good one. And I just saw he was on Twitter today. I love him as in ring stuff and show, but like I as a person, like I can't stand the dude. Like watch him do the interview. He just like but you still put him pity in me, five. like oh. everything's just like whoa me. I was like but in ring performance wise, like probably the best ever. But I I've never seen this guy wrestle, but I'm gonna take him top five. All right, I'm gonna go with the showstopper. Sean Michael, uh, HBK. Yeah, That's my next my pick. Next, that yeah, my next I pick. had him. Yeah, I was going to take him. He's got to be the most likable wrestler, right? Murph, you, I mean, you know more about wrestling than I do. I mean, there's probably one more that would be. Just among wrestle, like our own wrestler people. I mean, yeah, probably. I mean, he's probably at least top three. Man. I mean, top performer. Got to be. But even like among wrestlers, like watching all the documentaries, like everybody loved him. They hated his guts in the nineties. What do you mean? He's such no, a prick. I thought he was a good guy. Undertaker said he would fucking if he was on fire, he wouldn't piss on him to put him put it out. No, Eminem said the same thing about his mom. Okay. All right. I wish I could take him as a duo. But since it's you one can. wrestler. Well, I'll give you a, a duo. duo? The yeah, Hardy Boys. The Hardy Boys. Yeah, absolutely. You can take the Hardy Boys. Okay. They were one of my favorite groups. Like to play with when you used to play on like PlayStation 2 and stuff like I just loved them. Loved them. Jeff's on my list. Jeff. Well, Jeff Hardy was the one that I was going to pick if you guys didn't let me take the Hardy Boys, but just because he was the high flyer and stuff. But yeah, go ahead. Now you got two. You got two. No, you have two. Oh, I get two. I'm in the middle. You finish your two up right here. Well, you better snap into a Slim Jim because give me Randy Savage. Um, I mean, personality wise, what are we doing? Like Randy Savage. There's Randy, another guy that. Do the dot. Yeah. Enough cocaine for everybody. He was Deion. I mean, give me Deion Sanders. If he would coach, like, he reminds me of Deion Sanders. He just ultimate, like, tune in. Entertainment guy, Randy Savage was the best. There's so many guys I want to take Murph, but I do love. I know. Do I go big fat guy? I like Edge. I love Edge, um, aka like Adam Copeland. Day. I'm just gonna go cool factor. He was just Edge and Christian when they were doing the vampire things and. Even after that, when he came back with his back shit stuff, Ed was just always so cool and likable. And I know he's not top five all time, but I don't know. I just always loved Edge. I'll tell you another one that I like, that I loved, that I thought his face was scarred, and I didn't know what was <laughs> under that mask. Yeah. Give me. Kane, give me Kane, Missourian. <laughs> Fun fact: Haley's Haley's dad played Haley's dad played basketball against <laughs> Kane. All right, Murph. You can't see this last pick of mine. I knew you were going to do this. Dad, I don't know how he made it that long. Honestly, he deserves it. 
He doesn't Josh. really deserve it, but he deserves it. He doesn't yeah. deserve it. He deserves it. Yeah. yeah. He was a little bit after like I stopped watching it though. Like yeah. he kind of came in like he was really young in it when I stopped I watching. I think he it. was in he was in the mix when we were doing our rounds. It wasn't was he Marv? Well, yeah, but he was younger like when I stopped watching. He started like, in like two, I think maybe. Well, I know that's we what I'm started, saying. We got into it like in college and it was like all the little kids loved him. So it was kind of like oh, yeah, because everybody for me just to... walk around just yeah. So that was that that was the problem with me. Like so, I had the Attitude Era, and then there was like a ten year period where I didn't watch wrestling. And then me and Murph lived together. We started watching Monday Night Raw again every <laughs> night at twenty six years old, whatever we were. And then by that time, yeah. Cena was the man, but all the little kids loved him. And so I was like, I don't, I don't want to like this all guy. Right. Who's your honorable mention, Murph? Oh, how where do you start? I mean Give me three. Uh like I'm gonna go with a girl. I'm gonna go with Charlotte Flair. And then Jake the Snake Roberts. I was gonna go with that girl. And um Go ahead, I'll come up with another one. I got so many. I got just go ahead. You want me to go or you? Okay, go, Wentworth. I'll come on. I'll come over oh, there you go. X Pac. I just remember growing up. We don't have time to explain it. You got to pick your three. X Pac. Give me China. X Pac and um, Ultimate Warrior. Oh, I'm going perfect. old school. All right, my three: Rey Mysterio. Oh, that's a good one. Um, I gotta go. I gotta throw uh, Rikishi in there. And go ahead and give me Jimmy King. Jimmy King. Crown him King. Crown him King. It's a good one. Don't forget the big guys. Uh, Andre the Giant and the Big Show. Randy Orton. Oh, Ooh, yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. I had him on my Val list, Venus too. and China. Don't forget about China. 